Good day everyone, Mr. Caragula here with our next AutoCAD video. Now in this video, I will be showing you how to do the dimensions for your floor plans. Alright, so the dimension has four different layers or four different lines. Now as you can see here, we have the first set of lines, which are these lines right here. That deals with the the width for the windows and for the doors and for these small spaces and the walls well the second one is with the room sizes so from here to here is 2500 so the entirety of the bathroom is 2500 and then 1500 now would be the overall distance for the the overall distance for this wall from here to over here all right so let me show you an example of that go click here come on dimension the first thing i go to dimension is the wall which is 150 so click here point your mouse here and then bring it down like this then click here and bring that down oh, sorry we have to bring it down by a specific distance so we have to bring it down so let me do that again so after i select dimension click here come here bring that down then we bring this down by 600 so the first line first set of lines should be away from the building by 600 the second is 1200 and then the third is 1800 well this is very small i want it to be bigger so i can just come over here click on annotation iso 25 manage dimension style modify this should be annotative so if it's standard change it to annotative Change that from 5 to 50. 50 should be a good enough size. Oh, there's something else you have to change as well. Primary units, change this to period and change this to zero right here. Alright, so that's good. Close. Alright, so see? 150. Nice looking. Uh, we can give the dimensions a different color, so let's change it to yellow. Alright, good. Alright, so let's do the rest of the dimensions. Change this to yellow. Alright, so from first off with that now we have the wall width. So now we can do this dimension here, which is from the inside of the wall, which is there. So from here to here, bring that out by six hundred. Alright. And if you bring it out by six hundred and doesn't fall exactly in place, you can just do this. You can just click here. Click here. Then I click here and then I just bring it directly down to this space right here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that again. So I'm gonna do this side first then. Click here. Oh, sorry. Click here. Click right here and then click right here. Alright, so that's 1412. Then the window. Window should be 1800. So from here to here to here. Sorry. Let me just delete this dimension. Alright, it doesn't want to doesn't want to be deleted, so let's see if I can erase it. Alright. So come here. Click here, the first word of the window to down here. C T and J then bring that down there. Alright, so that's the first set of lines and I just continue that right through. So from here to here, bring it down to there, sorry, from here to here, and then you bring it down here. Like for the door, you don't have to dimension the door jumps, so it's just the space, so from there to there, 976, there, then this wall right here. 
Oh, it's gonna always go from here to here to there, and then we do the wall width, which should be 150. All right, and then now we're going to do over here. So for over here, you know, right, so what we're going to do. I'm not just going to bring it down by 600, we're going to bring it all the way down to meet this these set of dimensions. So we're going to start here. So just move the cursor out there, then don't click, just drag it down to here. Then click here and bring this down to meet this dimension there. Alright, and then we do the same thing over here. Hold on, let me see if that is how it they do it. Alright, they did it differently. So let me do it the way they did it. Alright, so let me do this then. Alright, so let me do this. So just do this then. Come here. Click here. Click here. Bring this down by 600. And then you just continue with the rest of the dimensions over here. So from here, put the cursor there. Come here, click here, bring that down and click here. And just do that for the rest of them. So now from here to here, to there, click there. Then this is from here to here. And then I just bring it down to here. So that's the first of the dimensions, but the next of the dimensions is going to be the room sizes. So it will just be this space right here in that space then this space all right so it is from here so go here bring it down to there so it's from there to here the internal wall and bring that down by 1200 all right so that is your second set of dimensions so that entire room is 6700 all right and then we do this one right here so let's do that one from here not there from here to here bring that down by 1200 all right then do this one over here for this room, so from here to here, the internal one, bring that down by 1200. Good, why does this 1200 look different from the other 1200? Alright, hold on, let me just check something. So since that 1200 looks different from the other 1200 over there, for some reason, I'm just, do I'm just gonna use this line for our reference. So I'm just gonna do this, bring this line down here, then do this dimension from here to here, bring this down by 1200, not 1200, sorry, I'm going to bring it down to me this line so let me do this then bring it down to me this line then I can delete this line all right so then the next other dimension is the overall dimension so this entire length from here all the way to over here so let me see if the other times I do two of them differently so the this then the other all right so let's do that then so let's do this entire length right here and that should be it's um that's 700 so from here not there sorry from here out here and bring that down by 1800 all right and then let's do from here to out 
here bring this down by 1800 all right so that's it the dimension you have two different set of dimensions there all right so yeah and for the for like out here you will do the same thing for every size so for that side of the building for that side of the building and for this side of the building so that is how you do the dimensions in autocad for your floor plan